Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be doing some studying. So I just thought why not show you guys around campus and show you guys my favorite study places. So of course like I'm in my room. This is a really good study spot. Um, actually I prefer not to study here though because I feel like my room is like should be just for like relaxing and sleeping. Um, but if I really don't feel like going anywhere or it's really cold out, I just stay in my room. But um, there's another place in the hall that um, I enjoy studying at if I don't feel like leaving the building. Okay, so we're in one of the study lounges. Every floor has one. And there's a really nice view and the lighting's really good in here. Um, there's also a pool table in the study lounge. But um, there's chairs and... If it ever gets too noisy, you could always move to a different one. But that's if like people are actually in here. Like a lot of times, people are also doing homework in here, so they wouldn't really be distracting. So I'm about to get my coat and show you guys the next spots. Okay, so backpack is on. Time to roll out. Okay, so it's really windy and it's really sunny outside, but outside has some of the best sunny spaces at my level. So. spaces because it's the closest and you can just throw out a blanket and have a study session with your friends and also the dining hall is right there if you get hungry. Now this next spot is in one particular spot. It's pretty much the entire shoreline of Loyola's Lakeshore campus. Starting at this little green space right here because it's honestly especially in the summer and in the fall it's so beautiful so beautiful another spot where people just throw out blankets sit along still right here watch the water like i said it's mad windy out um but i mean i wouldn't like this view the water i mean but it's great now we're in the ic um there's a lot of computers beautiful view um, there's a lot of study spaces for groups. There's also classrooms that aren't used at night, so you can use those. I like doing that instead of renting or occupying a study space, just because it's more room. The multiple floors also allow you to um, maximize efficiency, I guess, because the first floor is the noisiest floor. The second floor it's kind of noisy, but not really. But the third floor is silent. And that's where a lot of people do like their silent studying by themselves. So Damon has so much spaces to study, but I enjoy the top floor or the basement because it's the least traffic going there, I guess. Um, the second floor has a lot of like lounge chairs and the basement has like a restaurant pub kind of thing, which is really nice. Like top floor, Damon, nice little study space, got it all to yourself, at least I do. Damon also has study places for um, certain clubs and everything too, so like I'm a part of the BCC, so that's the BCC study room, um, there's other like conference rooms here too. The entire building of Mundelein is also like filled with studio spaces, um, a lot of them have really nice views. Um, the ones that have nice views usually have um, a lot of people in it, but even though they're like a good amount of people, they're usually always quiet. Um, I usually like these little um, sort of like lounges in the hallways because um, there's usually nobody there and I like being in more secluded spots just so I can get in the right mindset for whatever I'm studying. And now we're back in my room. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys, um, if you guys are coming here, I hope you guys check out my study spots because I really like them. And if we have like similar like study habits, like being like in quiet areas, um, I'm sure you'll love the spots. But um, if you show anybody else, just make sure you give me credit. See you guys in the next video.